Good morning, my word nerds. Hello, hello. Happy Monday. We get to start not only a new week, but we get to start a new month on the same day. So welcome to May 1st. My name is Christine. I am a member of the Prairie Girls. And each and every weekday morning, I bring you a new and amazing word of the day for you to add to your vocabulary so that you can sound smarticles. Hello, smartphone. Hello, brother Rob. So today we have a fun word of the day. It's platitude. Platitude is today's word of the day. It's kind of like gratitude, but instead of GR, it's PL. Platitude, P-L-A-T-I-T-U-D-E, platitude. And a platitude means a flat, dull, or trite remark, especially one uttered as if it were fresh or profound. Now that's a whole lot of words that kind of goes blah, 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 blah. What does platitude actually mean? You know when people used to say everything happens for a reason? And you thought to yourself, wow, that sounds really profound, but it's pretty meaningless because I'm in the middle of this situation right now and it pretty much sucks. So for someone to say everything happens for a reason, that's a platitude. Now, not all platitudes are bad. And when someone says a platitude, it's not always bad. They have good intentions, right? And they don't know what else to say. Most of us fall to a platitude. When that's basically when you have, you don't even know, good morning, Doug, when you don't even know what else to say, someone's going through something really bad or something bad happened to them, or they're asking you for a favor, or they're asking you for advice. And most times we're just going to fall to a platitude. And I think everything happens for a reason is probably the most well-known and overused platitude on the planet. I'm just saying, there's another one. I'm just saying. What? What, do you, what are you just saying? What you just said? Because if you're just saying what you just said, I know because I heard you just say it. Right? I don't understand that one. I'm just saying. What are you just saying? Are you, are you repeating yourself? Instead of repeating yourself, now you're just going to say, I'm just saying? Or are you saying, I'm just saying, as a way to kind of... <laughs> to to kind of qualify all of the stuff that just came out of your mouth whether it was right or wrong or nice or, or not nice right I it's just one of those things I'm just saying I say it to be funny but really honestly people who use that in real life in real life situations it's a platitude that's what it is it's a platitude so again it's a flat dull or trite remark especially when uttered as if it were fresh or profound so when it says, someone says one of these platitudes to you and they're making themselves sound all, you know, I'm so brilliant, I'm going to say everything happens for a reason. It's a really nice thought, but it doesn't mean anything. It just doesn't mean anything. So they're not trying to be mean. So let's not be mean back. You know, we can thank them for the platitude. And when you say the word platitude, they're going to go, thank, thank you for the what? And that could even start a, a different conversation and completely change topics. Because if they're saying things like everything happens for a reason, it's probably time to change the subject. Or if they're saying, I'm just saying, it's definitely time to change the subject. So have fun with platitudes today. I'm sure you're going to hear at least three today. Today alone, you're going to hear at least three platitudes. I, I almost, almost guarantee it. I can't guarantee everything, right? Because there's no such thing as a crystal ball, right? Um, or I don't have a crystal ball or my crystal ball is broken. These are all also platitudes, by the way. I was just being kind of a smarty pants. Um, but when you come across a platitude today, know that it's a platitude. You may not want to call it out as a platitude because situations being what they are, that might not be your best course of action. So... Have fun with it anyway. Use it, don't abuse it. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Know that I love you all. And I'll see you back here again tomorrow morning for another new and amazing word of the day. Until then, mwah. bye now.